All right, working with another drawing that we did when we learned isometric, we have this figure. So I'll just draw this figure pretty quickly. I'm gonna try to draw it on towards the inside so that we can kind of reference it a lot. And pardon my drawing, I'm just like speed drawing here, so. And then. All right, so we got this. Um, I'll shade the front with this. And this really is where shading can now really help you out. And I'll make the top dark. Right. Cool. Okay, so first off is the front. And this is what I mean by where shading helps. You could see that these four are in, you know, they're pushed back compared to this one. So if this is the, the figure, what would it look like from the front face? Remember, front is the front left, so it would look like this. And so what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a square, a small one, and then you're gonna see the big square back, back here. So drawing the front, I'm gonna draw a square and a big square. So this would be the front view. And the line would be there because the line shows the depth change. So that's why that would be the front view of this. You don't put the X, you don't put the, the you don't break that into four squares because there's, this is no depth change. That's why, it's, that's why it's a solid square. So from the front, you know that the top is going to have the same width. So I put these dim lines. You can tell how much lighter they are. You look at the top and it looks like this. So th these two, it's gonna be like a horizontal, you know, two squares horizontally, but then a depth change and then you have this one. So if I'm drawing that, I know that this is gonna be a square, but then I have this rectangle here. And I'm going to show the depth change with that line. So this line represents the depth change between here and here. So that's separating them. And you'll know that you're doing it right if the width is the same. If your width is off, it means you're doing it wrong. So now revert back to the front. That's what this looks like. And now go to the side. And the side, there will be no depth change. It's just going to be this like backwards capital L. So what I can do is dim lines from the top and bottom. And now I'm just gonna make that L, but with no depth change. So that is what this looks like. The last thing to do would be uh, to dimension it. I'll start from here. So this is, here would be two inches. Um, this would be six inches. Um, here would be two inches. And here would be four inches. So that's how you, you only dimension the stuff that needs to be there. Like that's why there's no four inch measurement here because it doesn't, there's nothing at the four inch measurement. And here going from this corner, we'll go here, down here is two inches. Here, down to here is four inches. And then here over to that would be four inches. And if you put all the dimensions that you need to put in the front and top, then you don't need to dimension that at all. So this is what, um, that's what this should look like.